Hey guys, today I'm gonna take a look at my first ever AIO liquid cooler by Fractal Design. This is the Celsius S24, an AIO cooler which pretty much guarantees silence. And at 105 US dollars right now, that's a very competitive price. The Celsius S24 obviously is a 240mm version, but there's also the S36 available with a 360mm radiator, costing a bit more though. So is silence really guaranteed? here and what's different here compared to all those other AIO liquid coolers on the market. Okay, RGB haters, rejoice! There's not a single LED on the Celsius S24. As you may know, Fractal Design is very well known for their minimalism when it comes to their cases, and this apparently also applies to their CPU coolers. But of course, for those of you that really are into RGB lighting and flashy things, this might be a little disappointing for you. But to be honest, I have absolutely no problem with having no lighting on here. It's a beautiful unit altogether, well built from radiator to pump. As for the radiator, this one's aluminum and a little thicker than most with 31 mm instead of the fairly common 27 these days. Judging by the looks of the pump, it is a unit by the OEM Acetec, which is known to be a good one. In fact, Fractal Design is very confident of the quality of their AIO, backing it up with a long 5-year warranty. Now there are some metal fittings on the pump as well as on the radiator. This allows you to actually expand this cooling solution. The standard thread is used here for the fittings, but please do keep in mind, only the fittings on the radiator are designed to be tinkered with. And by now you've surely noticed these fan headers sitting directly on the radiator. This is an integrated fan hub, allowing you to plug in both of the fans to it. This is a really nice and clean way to take care of cable management, and I wish more manufacturers would do something like that. The cable is perfectly concealed and the whole AI unit is powered by just a single 4-pin PWM connection. And yes, the majority of motherboards can output enough amps to power so much with only one connector. The rubber tubing seems long enough and it's actually very durable, also I love the beautiful sleeving that's going on here. Ok, but back to the pump. First of all, there's some kind of sound dampening layer inside of it to keep the noise down, making it one of the quietest AIO pumps I've worked with so far. What really stands out though is the automatic and PWM mode setting on this cooling system. With this ring on the pump, you simply switch between the two modes. When in auto mode, the liquid cooler will take care of going with the right pump and fan speeds for a good balance between performance and noise level. However, I much prefer the PWM mode where I have full control over the speeds. So in PWM mode, the pump and fan speeds will be controlled by the motherboard's PWM signal. The fans can spin as low as 500 RPM and pretty much all sockets are supported, even LJ2066 and TR4. Therefore, fantastic compatibility here. The installation went as planned, the standard Acetec mounting system system that we all know from many other AIO coolers comes into play here after all. But how does this Celsius S24 actually perform? I've ran the tests at the auto as well as PWM setting. Now let's take a look. Not bad, not bad at all. Quite frankly, I expected this AIO to perform worse than it actually did. When set to PWM, therefore letting the motherboard do the controlling of the pump and fan speeds, the Celsius S24 performed very well. It pretty much matches the other liquid coolers while remaining even a little quieter than those. Once I set the S24 to auto mode though, the temperatures are a lot higher. I didn't see as good cooling performance as with the PWM. M mode. However, even at my Intel i7-7700K overclocked to 4.8 GHz, the fans as well as the pump remained dead silent. For real, I had to put my ear to the pump to actually hear it and same pretty much goes for the fans. While at least in my case I had to sacrifice cooling performance, I didn't experience any noise from the AIO cooler. It was a perfectly silent system, the only thing I heard was the mechanical hard drive. That's it. This definitely 
definitely is the quietest AIO liquid cooler I've tested so far, but I personally would set it to PWM mode, even then it's incredibly quiet, but does perform significantly better in my case. The Celsius S24 overall is a great performer, good fair pricing and I love the easy and clean cable management thanks to that integrated fan hub. And yes, yeah, sure, you may not have glorious RGB bling bling here, but it's fine. In my opinion, it's still a gorgeous liquid cooler. The only thing that would make it look even better to me is if the fans were all black instead of white. For sure, I can definitely recommend the fractal design Celsius S24, especially if you like silence. It certainly deserves my gold award. And as always, thanks for watching.